Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. It is a Tuesday today and I have already filmed this once and then lost all the footage. So I'm doing it again. It doesn't matter. It's no big deal. But as soon as I've done it, the girls started going off with, you know, the little things. So I'm having to, I've had to go around the house and collect everything back up again. But never mind. Uh, we are in my dressing room and it is still looking a bit bare. We have, you know, a few nice little things going on up here. There's a, a, my a name plaque there, Love Life. <laughs> please, please subscribe. Um, and just a little jewellery stand and a little accessories and I'm quite liking that. I'm quite liking that. But anyway, I do have a Poundland hat. I do have a Poundland haul for you guys and I am going to try and make it a no edit because I've already done this once so if I start messing up do forgive me do forgive me but anyway I'm going to get on with it and I'm going to show you exactly what I bought um, I hope I've covered everything there's a few things that are probably still missing I don't know we're going to have to have a look anyway anyway starting off with the Christmas stuff because I've got a few things for my daughters to give on to their teachers and things like that um, I'm still yet to get a couple of presents uh, so this is just kind of basic I've got some Christmas cards because I don't normally again give Christmas cards or my girls don't normally give Christmas cards but however uh, we do give to neighbours Four Seasons greetings and kind of just wishing them a happy new year really uh, but first up we bought some cards for some of the neighbours and the teachers this is a pack of 10 Christmas cards craft Christmas cards and there's two different designs in there if that's picking it up fantastic there's two little designs in there there's just kind of one ball balls um, one's got ball balls on and one's got a wreath on so just for neighbours and things, probably just pop in a box of chocolates or something uh, and give them as, those out to the neighbours. Next I picked up some gift bags. The first lot are these, it says let it snow and they are a two pack uh, but my daughter's nicked off the one and put the teacher's present in it but never mind. Um, it's basically just got a little Christmas tag there and this pack of two and it's pretty good size really, it's pretty good size. Uh, next up, I also picked up this design. Uh, it just says Fa la 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 lama, and um, again, you get two in a pack for a pound, which is again 50 pence a pound, which works out quite good. Um, then we picked up three of these boxes of Galions. It's just the Galion Belgian chocolate milk truffle, and to be quite honest, I can't like them myself. So. <laughs> Yeah, picked up three of these to give to one of each of her teachers along with something else. I'm not quite sure what yet. Talk about last minute, but yeah, just those. Uh, next, I'm just gonna see if I can quickly find her. Yeah, we picked up these Christmas cards. There's a pack of 13 there. School Christmas cards with envelopes. Send cards to all your classmates and your teacher. And I thought for a pound, 30 Christmas cards, not very big, but it's okay. You get six different designs on there. You get a penguin, a reindeer, a snowman, and another snowman, a little teddy bear type of thing, and a Santa. And they got different things on it. So it's Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings, and Ho Ho Ho. So those are for Khadija's school friends. Well, classmates really. There's 31 of them in her class, so 30. It's okay. Um, a few foodie bits. Picked up this huge bag of popcorn. Um, my fave. It is has to be actually one of my favourites. So it's a sweet and salted. And um, I took them down to my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law. I took them down to my mum and dad this weekend because it was Khadija's little birthday get together and they absolutely love them so and they're lovely really nice and fresh and it's a huge bag it's a 300 grams in there so it's good for movie night and believe me there's going to be plenty of those because Christmas have the best selection of movies I don't know growing up the ones that spring to mind for me was Annie ultimate favorite ultimate favorite uh, we've got um, what else did we snowman the snowman 
to the snowman. How can we forget the snowman? Uh, if you have a Christmas favourite, please link it down below. Let me know uh, what you enjoy watching over Christmas. And some more foodie bits. Again, my husband and I absolutely love these. I, even though I don't really have biscuits and tea very often, but when I do, I do like certain ones. And these are one of my favourite McBitties. And these are the coconut rings. What else? Just picked up some brioche buns because they're just handy, aren't they? My girls go to Masjid Mosque straight after, more or less straight after uh, school. It's a bit of a rush when they get in, so sometimes it's just nice and handy to have stuff like this. Sometimes if there's food left over from the night before, they will quite happily have that. Or then I'll make them some toast and stuff, or just one of these really. Or in the morning, as part of a breakfast, they like one of these. Just warm it up and they're good to go. Next, just picked up some Maryland cookies because, again, it's a nice quick snack. And Zaya, Zahra, my eldest, who's at secondary school, takes snacks in. Sometimes she'll take like some fruit and some crisps or whatever. Uh, sometimes she likes to take a packet of these, so I thought it's quite handy to have them in the house. Next, this is, again, Zahra's favourite. I'm sure she actually drinks this because I feel like I'm forever buying this. It's a yogurt and mint sauce. She has it with absolutely everything, everything. You know what, I'm sure she puts a mouth to it because every, nearly every other third day, she's saying, mama, can you buy me some more? So we've got these, this is the Cru 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 Crucials yogurt and mint, creamy and refreshing minty taste. It is nice with a lot of things actually, you know, if you're making wraps with some kebabs or, you know, samosas with, she literally has it with everything, everything, you name it and she'll, that's the one she goes for. Um, any more foodie bits? Yes, we have, again, Cheetos. I do personally like these myself. These are the flaming hot flavour and you get eight, eight, I was going to say six then, but no, we get eight in a pack, which is quite good for a pound. It's a very good value, very good value. We have a couple of cleaning bits. We've just got a bottle of Fairy. I normally buy the red bottle. I don't, God, I don't even know what the red one is. I don't know what the scent of the red one is. I can't remember. But I normally pick up the red. I think I just pick it up for the scent of it, really. They never had any, so I picked up the original lemon um, for a pound. That smells okay. To be honest, I use a combination of both. I use a combination of the washing i use washing up liquid and i also use my dishwasher so that's when it kind of gets too much and i just can't be bothered and there's too many dishes throughout the day it's usually a weekend to be honest if i'm home and there's too many dishes throughout the day they all go into a dishwasher but during the week it's not too bad i also picked up this which is the air wick i absolutely swear by this if you haven't ever smelt this or you have never used it you miss it you're missing out, honestly. I have these in my bathrooms, and my downstairs bathroom was running kind of low, so I needed to replenish. But I think they have a lavender, they have this, and then the oranges is more like a citrusy smell. I think like oranges and lemons or something. But I do like the freshen up, fresh water. And um, for a pound, they last forever, honestly. You know, it's just amazing. You don't need to kind of get the air freshener out or anything like that. Just leave that in there all the time smells great it's just got this kind of you pull it up and that's it that's literally i've actually got one back here somewhere because i had a little bit left and i didn't want to kind of i think it was from the bathroom upstairs and i just put it in here so it smells fresh all the time um what else that was one bag down what else did we pick up we picked up oh I am still doing this room up and I want, I bought some posters, I bought some frames in fact with some posters, some prints in fact uh, and I just kind of want to, I don't know, glam the frames up a bit, they're from Poundland so they're not the best, not just in Poundland or anything but because what can you get for a pound nowadays but anyway, um, so I bought some spray. I bought the interior and exterior metallic dry brilliant gloss finish dazzling white uh, that is by paint and again from a paint factory interior and exterior shimmering metallic 
paint, spray paint, sparkling silver, dries to a brilliant gloss finish. So I'm going to try that. Sparkling silver sounds great. A bit needs a bit of shimmer, don't we? Need a bit of shimmer. What else have we got in here? I picked up a couple of these. Now they're adorable, absolutely, and they're the softest thing ever. Oh, absolutely cute. That's got like a little kitten on it, a cat kitten, and then you've got like a what are they? I don't know, a little little tiger or something I don't know some sort of animal anyway and I just thought they were super cute I bought one for a little girl um, that I know and then one for Zainab who absolutely adores 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 cats so they can put them on their bags or something so they were a pound and they're by a company called Ojo I think that's what it is because I've seen the little pom-pom key rings with like unicorns and stuff and it's usually like a oh sorry just not the tripod it's usually like a, a material but these are actually plastic. They seem really good quality. And then they've got like this little gold keyring bit. I think these are really cute for stocking fillers or anything like that. They had some lovely, lovely ones in little multicolored pom poms, lots of different animals. I just thought they were super cute. And for a pound, absolutely adorable. I am putting up some frames, as I suggested or mentioned, I think, earlier. Um, and I came across these, these are new, Smart Clips, Stronghold, Clean Removal, No Fixing, No Fuss, Stronghold, Rental Safe, No Damage, Easy Removal. So I suppose if you're renting your accommodation, but you still want kind of to, you know, give it a bit of character, give it, give it your touch, but you're not allowed to drill holes or anything, I suppose these would be quite good for you, wouldn't it? Um, so I bought these and you get 20, 20 small clips in there. Uh, with 24 strips so you're gonna see how you get up even if you're putting up Christmas lights and things like that apparently so I will give them a try and I'll let you know how I get on with that um, a couple of makeup bits that I picked up I bought this eyeshadow palette now for a pound for a pound I was like what look at those colors just look at those colors I'm going to swatch them. Let's have a oh, oh, it's going to sticky off. Oh, and it comes with a little applicator. You got a little eyeshadow brush, double sided. Let's have a swatch of these because these may not may may not be everybody's cup of tea. These are the Winter Forest matte collection, but you know what? For a pound, really. Okay, those are the blues. So we have like a, a turquoise, a dark blue, like a royal blue, a turquoise. They've actually got names. Let's have a look. We've got, oh, my ass up. Midnight, Aqua, and Azure. So we've got Midnight, the top one, Aqua, and then Azure. Lovely. Let me swatch some of the little brown. Let's have a look. Got my fingers lift. That one's quite nice. That's like a. Yeah, these were a bit lighter. These are more transition colours. But you know what? For a pound, I thought that was brilliant. And then you get one of these little brushes, whether you use it or not. I thought this was quite cute. Um, I did buy it for myself. But you know what? You could put it in a, again a stocking, part of a Christmas present, or any type of present for any occasion, really, for a little girl. Um, for anyone, because I personally would like these myself. Really pigmented, <laughs> that's what I can say. Really pigmented, really quite good. Anyway, I actually don't know how good of, of a company this is, but Makeup Academy Professional, let's, you know, we're going to give it a go. The other thing I picked up was this. Now this is, it came in a little box, but like I said, I did film this earlier, and then I chucked all the rubbish away. But this came in a little box. It was like, you know, it looked like a little ball ball or whatever. And it was in there. And this is just literally eyeshadow glitter. And I've never owned liquid eyeshadow. Um, but I saw this and recently I've picked up a few palettes. A few palettes? No, I've only picked up a couple. Oh my God. That's proper pigmented. Look, it's literally dyed my fingers. 
Um, yeah, sorry, going back to what I was talking about. I picked up some eyeshadow palettes and I've got some quite similar colours to this. Some maroons, some pinks, some fuchsia, and things like that. And I thought that colour, to finish a look off, and I, because like I said, I don't own any liquid eyeshadows and I certainly don't own anything, own anything with a bit of glitter in, so, oh, lovely. That is really, really nice. That is really, really nice. I'm going to try and... There it is. That is super shiny. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to use that. That is really nice. They had a few colours in this. They had like a green, metallic green colour, and I think it was brown, if I'm not mistaken. But I was, I think I'm more, draw, was drawn into this because of, simply because of the colour eyeshadow palettes that I bought and this is more of a colour that I would use so I'm going to give that a go I'm just going to see any extra detail on it no but yeah and it's such a such a sleek smart looking little bottle isn't it I just thought the packaging was super duper cute right coming on to my faves now Poundland have always been known to do some really lovely home accessories, whether it's hanging uh, hearts or hanging, you know, plant pots or faux plants or anything like that. So I came across these. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. How cute are these? These are candles. They are candles on these little gold stands. The first one I picked up was cinnamon and pine cone. And then I picked up winter berries. And they've got 21 hours burn time. 21 hours. And once you're done with the candles, how cute are these going to look with succulents in? Oh, they're like, you can use them for anything. Trinkets, succulents, whatever. You know, your, your brushes. Your brushes I could spray these and use them just giving myself a really cool idea it could be anything sponges whatever I just thought the, the you know the candles themselves are just such oh they're just so beautiful really beautiful um cinnamon like I said cinnamon and pine cones and this one was the winter berries uh, there was a couple of other scents but to be honest and to be honest, very honest, cinnamon and pine cone has got to be my favourite. I'm more of a strong, masculine kind of smell rather than the sweet. But you know what? I just had to get them. I just had to get them. Just had to get them because I love, love candles, as we all know. And finally, this has got to be my best buy. <gasps> Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. This was the only thing I actually picked up that was two pound. But let me open this because I've been meaning, I've been wanting to open this the minute I bought it. And it's got, oh, it's got polystyrene in it. Oh no, it's going to go everywhere. I hate this stuff. I suppose needed something to keep it. Oh, it's like a huge bauble. It's the biggest bauble I've ever seen. How cute is that? OMG. That's good lighting. That's very good lighting. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love that. A couple of those on your Christmas tree. Two pound. Bowland, you need to get down there. That is so, so pretty really pretty i however bought it obviously for my dressing room um because i just thought it was really cute and for two pound you can't go wrong you honestly cannot go wrong that's just such a lovely even as a christmas present even i don't know you could just give someone an early christmas present just buy one. Just buy one for yourself. <laughs> That's it. I'm just going to have a quick look around. I think we're done. I think we're done. Like I said, 
I had filmed this before, but I lost the footage. I really have no idea how I managed that. And I was going to try and make this a no edit video, but at one point my daughter was calling me because she needed me. So I kind of had to put you on hold. So I am going to have to edit maybe once or twice. We'll see. Hopefully not too many times. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, go check out my previous video. It's my cupboards. My cupboards! I had my cupboards built and they are looking fantastic. It's amazing. I have lit the details of the guy that did it for me because he was fantastic too. But anyway, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe and do all those lovely things. And I'm going to see you so soon. Slime again.